In the second segment of our series on creating and using a digital productivity system, we'll look at how best to track projects and notes using the GTD Getting Things Done methodology. I'm Dave Edwards. I've been a fan of David Allen's book and teachings for decades, ever since the popular book was first released. Much later, I adapted my system to use it online rather than on paper, making it a whole lot more portable and effective. And that's what I'm demonstrating in this week-long series. And after we look at tracking projects and notes, I'll tell you how you can see my entire system. Okay, back to projects and notes. According to GTD, projects are defined as outcomes that will require more than one action step to complete and that you can mark off as finished in the next 12 months. Of course, you're going to want to take some time deciding what digital platform to use. The techniques I show you, uh, maybe inside of Evernote, can be applied to any system. One of the things I do is I create a notebook for every client and every project that I have. I start off with a project summary sheet. It's where I track progress. I'll tell you more about that in an upcoming session, but these are the important elements that I keep in my project summary. Uh, next actions can be posted here, but they're also going to need to be on my list of tasks. And in that notebook, I keep meeting notes. So you can see here is a budget meeting that we had. Typically, I structure that to include the key ideas or key takeaways from the meeting, uh, things that have to be followed up on, uh, things I want to remember, things that have been assigned to me, and things that are assigned to other people. I'll also keep uh, a, a contract agreements, other things that are pertinent to this project. I review each project notebook and all new notes during my weekly review. Speaking about notes, when you take notes in meetings, think of it as the collecting step of GTD. You're collecting relevant ideas, quotes, and assignments from the session. I always date my notes, as you can see here. And the other thing is, when you're in a meeting, uh, don't try to take everything down verbatim. You're not doing a transcription. After the meeting, review your random notes, clean them up as necessary. Make sure that action items are transferred, or in this case, tag them so you can remember who's charged with moving the project forward. Make sure your notes are kept in the appropriate digital project notebook. I also got a great question from a viewer, which I will answer in just a moment. But first off, I have something to share with you. All this week, I'm sharing ideas of how you can use the GTD methodology in a digital environment. I'm going to cover quite a bit in the next few episodes. But if you think you want to set up a digital system, you're going to want to check out my brand new course. It's online and on demand. It's called Getting Things Done in a Digital Environment, and it's available now. I cover a whole lot more than what I'm doing in this special series. Check it out at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Just click on Courses, and you'll find all the information there. I know you will benefit from this in-depth look of how you can apply the Getting Things Done methodology inside of a digital framework. Okay, to the viewer's question, Damon asked me to explain what I mentioned yesterday about developing a plan before using a digital system. Here are the things I suggest you write down and think about before you begin migrating your productivity system into a digital environment. First of all, list all of your projects. Uh, in this case, it could be preparing a budget, rewriting and update departmental job descriptions, post position opening for marketing manager, investigate the purchase of a new car. These can be professional projects. These can be personal projects. Make a list of them because you're going to be establishing a notebook or some other collection point for all the information related to each and every one of these projects. As part of your plan, you also want to list your contexts. I've listed at work, at home, at anywhere, at errands. Contexts, of course, is a fundamental part of GTD. It's how you keep track of where you can do your work. 
you also want to, as part of your planning effort, list the people uh, that you relate to, agenda items, if you will, according to GTD. So these are the people that I would tend to interact with. I'm going to make sure that I collect items and label them appropriately so that when I meet with Bob, I have a ready list of things to talk to him about. Same with the other people. That's why I think it's really important to lay out your plan before you begin implementing. Thanks for your question, Damon. Our series on GTD and digital productivity will continue tomorrow. My focus is going to be on next actions and waiting for items. I'll show you how to handle them digitally. So don't forget to tune in for that. And you might also want to subscribe so you don't miss any of my segments. Do you consider yourself productive, but would like to move your productivity system into a digital environment? Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I can help. I've created a course called Getting Things Done in a Digital Environment. In the course, I take you through each step of GTD and show you how you can use the GTD system in the digital environment that you choose. I demonstrate, I show you my system. It's easy to do once you have someone to guide you through the setup. The course is on demand and online, and it's ready for you right now. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses.